Okay, take off, nice and slow and steady. That's it, nice and steady. Whoa! Hey, he's controlling it okay. Whoa, don't hit, sister! Well, hi everyone. Uh, it is the middle of winter here. Yesterday we saw snow, didn't we? Yes. Where did we go to see snow? At the zigzag railway. Did you see any trains running at the zigzag railway? No. Why they didn't we? They all crashed. They all crashed, did they? Yes. Have you ever seen a train at the zigzag railway? Nope, they crashed. Do you ever want to see a train at the zigzag railway? Nope, they crashed. You meant to say yes. No. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> this video. We're going to end up taking a look at this Quad Force video drone. I bought it for $79 at Costco Australia. This is not an ad for this here. We want to try and work out, well, what's going on with all these choppers and drones and stuff. The back of the box looks like that. The edge of the box that has a read, which basically says if you damage the helicopter, don't bring it back. And there's a rundown of the features of this drone. Uh, I'm very curious about the output of the video. It says 720p. I'd like to see what sort of 720p that is because I've seen some very, very ratty HD video. Well, there's a rundown of the features on the remote control unit. I'm not sure how much of that is just jargon, blah, blah, to look good, or whether it's meaningful stuff that's going to help you fly. So just to get your head around uh, the value of this quad here, $17 from Costco, I'm not sure whether it's a worthy thing to look at this as a comparison. There is this normal helicopter here. $15 from Kmart. I just dare say that's cheap and cheerful. I'm yet to play with that. There is this one here from the reject shop for $18. Okay. It's a little bit bigger in scale. I uh, dare say it's very cheap and cheerful. There is this helicopter here for $25 from Target. Now that is the same one as the one I picked up off the side of the road in that video where I look at the rubbish on the side of the road. To recall, that is the helicopter there, and this is the helicopter which barely anything was wrong with it, and it was one road that doesn't work. I it's think it was busted. Yes, but why is it busted? It looks like it's done no flying. That is the big question about this stuff. And there is one helicopter or quad, I should I say, hiding here. This is a twenty-five dollar Kmart uh, Nano quad. It's one of those little tiny. They're fun to fly these things, but they're also fairly fragile. Twenty-five dollars for that one. So there's really a whole range of helicopters here. Really that one there is the cheapest, $15. Those three there are all sort of the same price. We are going to concentrate on this quad copper here. Hey, do you want to open it up? Yeah! yeah! Well, it does say ages 14 up. Let's take a look at this. Ooh, very nice unboxing. Hey, Dad, there's yeah. construction. Oh, yeah, and what else? And a helipad. Ooh, that looks cool, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Well, the constructions look fairly elaborate on how to operate and fly this thing, but because we are men, you know what we're going to do with that? Nope. We're going to throw them away. Dad, that was random. Well, that's how men operate. You're going to have to understand. <laughs> Okay, quick look over what's in the box here. Of course, this is the quad here. One thing I've noticed is it's got very, very flexible blades on it. Is that good or bad? Is that normal? I'm not yes. that into this, is it? Well, he knows. It's got these bits here which are also very flexible. Some sort of protective thing that you put on it so you're not smashing the blades off. And if you do smash the blades off, there is a spare set of blades here. The remote control is here. This is as light as a feather. So what's that telling me, boys and girls, when it's light as a feather? Probably telling me it needs batteries in it. There's also this stuff under here, I dare say it's for charging or what not else. There's a cocky above us, and I think when we pull this together we'll take it out for a fly. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> do you think you can fly this? Too early for the tongue. Do you think you can fly this or... Yes! It... Hang on, how old are you? Five. What did the box say? Five years old. Ages... For 14 plus. It will take for all day! Dad, I can fly it. Hmm, I don't know about that. <laughs> oh, what are you, Dr. Eveling on me, aren't you? Oh, you have got the remote control, you are going to fly it. Well, I'll just take it out of the box, have a bit of a closer look, and surprise, surprise, it looks fairly impressive. It's very, very light, but I dare say you need to be nice and light to fly. That is the camera under there, and it already came with a 4 gigabyte SD card in there. That, that was a surprise. Maybe I should have read the box a bit more. Uh, yeah, I've got to screw on the protectors there for those blades. Charge it up, and then we'll take it for a fly. But um, it does seem fairly impressive, but hey, I'm 
absolutely curious about how the video is in this because like I've seen I've seen you know people say HD video and it's complete and utter rubbish so I'm very curious to see what that camera can do for us I can even get one of those shots the uh, a box came with its own screwdriver how's that for being neat Oh, I can see lights behind the trees. I can see lights behind the trees. It must be a UFO. It's a pretty spanky RC helicopter of anything, isn't it? Okay, I put four AA batteries into the remote control here. It's got a bit more weight in it now. There is like a high low power button up here 360 degree turn button I won't be pushing that there to activate the video camera a snapshot is push that up once and pull it down to get double beep to get the camera going apparently I'm not an expert remember and there is the LCD screen here which gives you an indication of what you are doing on the joysticks whether that is just a pure gimmick I don't know but I don't think I'll be looking at that to fly the craft well, I've come down to my local park. I'll give this a bit of a test fly before I let the children play with this. That's if it survives my bad flying. I've recharged the battery. The battery resides uh, under the camera area there, and the battery actually slides out uh, to be charged. It takes one hour to charge that on a 5-volt plug. Put that back together. I'll turn it on. The switch is right there. It's got little LEDs all over it. It looks fairly epic in total darkness, and I will try and fly this thing. Get the remote synced up. Oh yeah, we're ready for action. Well, it's uh, fairly responsive. It's nice and stable. I dare say all quads are, aren't they? Nice and uh, low to the ground. I'll try and get the camera started on the thing because I'm really curious about the video camera in this. It's very hard. I'm actually holding the video camera plus trying to fly this thing. Could be in the massive epic fail of all my life. Well, there it is up there. It's a nice, stable flyer. Uh, I haven't got my hands on the controls. I've got my hands on the camera. Probably going to lose it this rate, aren't I? It's going off into never, never. I am trimming it up so I can get a nice, stable flying here. Looks very pretty, doesn't it? Looks mighty pretty, actually. And it's, I'm not an expert flyer of these, uh, but I'm managing to fly this uh, very easily. I dare say my children will get a grasp of this much faster than me. Well, the batteries have just run out of puff. It was about five minutes of flying. I wasn't doing anything erratic. I was just puffing around. When those batteries fade and stop, it happens pretty fast and you're coming for a nice safe landing. Oh, nice and easy to fly. I did scuff it around on the ground a bit. These things do work and um, stop the propellers from getting fouled when you're flying a bit too low and you have an accident. It flipped over a couple of times on crash landings. But my biggest query is I wonder what that camera under there captured on my flight. What is the quality of that camera? That's what I really want to know. And to get flying again, I've got another hour of charging to be up and away. With the chainsaws in the background, give it a first fly. Take it easy. Whoa! Now my daughter's usually pretty good at flying things like this, mind you. I don't know where it's going. Looking pretty good, looking pretty good. Looking very good. How does it feel? Does it feel good? Yeah, hey, getting good control here, well done. Not going too crazy. We're gonna try and bring it in and land it on the little landing pad, if that's possible. Hopefully that video camera is working. Uh, I've had a bit of trouble trying to understand how it works because Daddy didn't read the instructions, did he? Bring it back to me. Whoa, yo! Okay, I'm gonna take off from the landing pad and try and land on the landing pad. Daughter is in control. Looking stunning, whoa! I don't know where we're going. I just told her don't go near any people because the police could get involved. Oh, she's up again. She's radically flying it. She's turning around. Oh, that's a crash. That is a crash. Oh, how's it survived? It seems to survive those rough landings uh, quite well. We're going to try and get uh, little brother to have a fly here. Okay, take off, go. Whoa, he's radical. He's radical. He's very radical. Okay, take off. Nice and slow and steady. That's it, nice and steady. 
Whoa! Hey, he's controlling it okay! Whoa, don't hit, sister! Oh, that is a uh, smack landing. Okay, just reset, ready for flying, yay! That's a radical takeoff. Oh, almost got the sister there. He's radical flying this thing. Bring it back here if you can. And no crash landings. Oh, right on cue. Stop, 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 stop. Hopefully the camera on board is working. Okay, try and take off. Oh, nice flying, nice flying. Don't go near the ladies in the park. That's all I'm asking. Looks stunning. It's testing my uh, camera chasing abilities here. Off into the uh, wild blue yonder. Looking good. Looks like we're going to score a goal. Yes, we've scored a goal. Don't know if any of you guys follow. Wow, my daughter is really hey, getting the handle of this really fast. It's over. I'm not sure how you can see it. It's over there somewhere. Safety landing. Oh, well done. <laughs> you scored a goal. Yeah, I know you scored a goal. Well done. And probably the batteries will be getting uh, fairly low. Oh, nice flying again. Going into the sun again, going right round in circles. Whoa, watch out. You're going to hit yourself. That's going to be a crash, isn't it? Oh, what's going to happen? Uh, bring it back this way. Are you out of control? No. Bring it back this way if you can. Yeah, we're coming back. Oh, nice flying indeed. Whoa, oh, that is a stack. So close. That is a stack. Just on the camera, there is a little light, uh, which is, when it's red, apparently it's recording, but when it's green, it's not, I think. I just hope that camera's recording. Just try to take off and come back and land on the little helipad. Bit of a skill test. Whoa, directly above me, going up, going up, going up. And be careful because those batteries will be running out shortly. I've got no idea where that is now. Bring it back. It's somewhere over there. Hope it's in the screen somewhere. Oh no! It's coming down, it is back, I can see it now. I'm gonna try and bring it back for landing. Oh, oh. well, yeah, well, not too bad. Go again. Oh, going again? Yeah. Well, don't go too far away. That's a secret, I think. Oh, coming in, trying to do a landing here. Getting very close. Getting very close. Oh, yes. Well, almost. Not bad at all, not bad at all. So when it came to reviewing what video we've taken, we'd only generated zero byte files. Even though I tested the video camera statically before we flew it, I didn't understand that you really have to be stringent about turning the camera on and off to save your video files to the SD card. If you have a crash or a hard landing or run the video till the battery's dry in the quad, basically you'll end up with no video at all. And for me, one of the biggest disappointments of this inexpensive quad helicopter is the video camera. Okay, hopefully I've worked out how to get the camera working on this little quad chopper. Finally, Daddy has worked out how to turn the camera on and off and save a video file so we don't get zero byte files. It's an overcast day. Unfortunately, my daughter's not flying. She's a far better flyer than me but we get to see what the camera on this quad can do. I think the best way to sum up this camera, and I've seen many cameras like this, it's like a fairly narrow field of view action cam or very cheap uh, dash cam that you buy. And as I've always found out, these little cameras are nothing but frustrating and in the end, a little bit disappointing. The other peculiar aspect to this camera is that it always seems to take video as if it's tilted to one side and in Australia we say on the piss. I can assure you that uh, from what I could see the quad was flying level but the camera wasn't taking footage of a nice level horizon. It is recording while well, substandard HD video, it's 720p. I suppose I could go in there and crop it a bit and then tilt it but there's not much scope to crop stuff and tilt when you're dealing with 720p. 
Another important thing to notice about the type of video that the camera generates is it is AVI files. So if you own a crapple computer like me, QuickTime will, will basically not want to know about these files and it will want to convert it to a .mov file. But in seeing that old down and dirty AVI file is also another indicator uh, telling me that the camera in this quad is, well not your latest sort of gear, it's old technology. What I need to do is take this quad out again in some harsh sunlight where we get some nice uh, light areas and dark areas and then maybe we'll start to see how this camera falls apart because in conditions like this where it's nice even light the camera doesn't have to do much work to take a picture. By the time I've made this video, this quad chopper has been out a number of times. It's actually a very robust little machine, very easy to fly. So I give the big thumbs up to the quad. The duration's a little bit shorter. It'd be nice if it did fly for, let's say, 10 minutes. It's well short of 10 minutes when it flies on one battery charge. But the disappointment, from what I can see, is the camera. Very frustrating when you uh, forget to turn the camera off and you lose a video file. That's the, the fail, in a sense, of this very cheap quad chopper. And what I noticed on the forums on the internet that speak about these inexpensive quads with cameras, this is a very, very common uh, complaint where people generate zero byte files. I'm certainly not the only person uh, getting caught up in all this. I'd love to put more flying footage up there. I should get my daughter to fly uh, the quad, get video of, of the way she flies, because it's far more dynamic than me, and I may put that up as another video. Anyway, I better leave this video. Hope you get an insight into this very inexpensive quad chopper that I bought at Costco Australia. As always, thanks for watching and bye for now. Do we have to have yum yums at the start of this? Yes. Uh, why is that? Because it looks popular. Is yum yum popular, is he? Yes. Can we just can we just have yum yum free? Yes. Yum, 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 yum. Obviously it doesn't work, does it? <coughs> I bought it for... Yum, yum, yum. No, yum, yums. I bought it for $79 at Costco yum, and yum, yum. I'm a bit curious about this. Yum, 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 yum. Please stop the yum, yums. <coughs> <coughs> okay, here are the constructions and because we're men, you know what we're going to do with that? Um. We're going to throw them out. <laughs> That's what men do, did you know that? <coughs>